Hello wonderful person, so first we're being threatened by a supernova, but now it turns out an asteroid is also coming to destroy us anytime in the next uh, 5 or so years? Huh, I'm not sure if it's true or did the news actually have really slow week this week and basically had nothing to report on again. So let's talk a little bit more about this news of an asteroid coming to Earth to destroy it and let's uh, see if it's of any value to us and if it's actually um, true at all. Welcome to What The Math. And so some of the top stories in astronomy again are basically about something coming to destroy Earth and this time it's an asteroid that's going to um, hit Earth with a 50 megaton nuke power and most likely will do this in the next 5 years or so. And that's not all, there's apparently more. Most importantly according to Yahoo News, it's also coming from um, undisclosed NASA sources so it has to be true, absolutely right? Well. Here's the thing, no, it's not really going to come and hit Earth anytime soon, or actually at all. Let's talk actually a little bit more about why this is literally the definition of fake news and there's absolutely nothing in this title or in this article that has any factual truth to it. First of all, let's start with, I guess, the benefit of the doubt. Let's uh, basically discuss why it's possible that an asteroid could hit Earth. Here is an animation NASA made uh, that shows you all of the near-Earth asteroids and it essentially demonstrates to you how many there are. There's actually a video from a few years ago that demonstrates um, how our uh, detection of such asteroids has increased over time. This is basically us getting better and better at detecting these asteroids and um, as of today we actually have detected close to about 20,000 of them. If you were to graph it, this is what it would look like. So there's about a few hundred of uh, asteroids over a kilometer in size. There is about 8,000 or so of asteroids that are quite dangerous of 140 meters and more. And there's close to about 20,000 or I guess maybe about 18,000 as of 2018 um, of all asteroids altogether. In other words, yeah, there's a lot of rocks out there and, you know, some of them have a very slight chance of hitting Earth and some have in the past. So the, obviously there is some fear and this is why we're actually doing it because we're trying to find an asteroid that might potentially be dangerous. But at the same time, NASA obviously has websites that keep track of all of them and also um, actually are publicly available for anyone to go and check if there's anything coming toward us. Okay, first of all, the most obvious website, this right here. NASA's website, nasa.gov. If you scroll to the entire website, there's not a single thing about any asteroids. The biggest news in the last few weeks was obviously the InSight landing on Mars. The successful landing that NASA was able to achieve, which is actually quite a great achievement. Although if you watched one of my previous videos, I also kind of, I guess maybe wrongly accused this mission of being maybe slightly boring for the public, which I actually stand by. I still think the mission itself is not going to be really discussed anymore that much, at least I think so. But to me personally, it's actually a great achievement and um, has a lot of records that were set by NASA. But never mind that, we're not talking about this. So there's nothing about asteroids, okay? Let's keep looking. So if NASA is really warning us that an asteroid twice the size of Big Bang could slam into Earth with force of 50 megaton nukes, where is that warning? Clearly the sun uh, was not really looking into the right places. So here's, for example, a website where you can actually see the probability, a cumulative probability, of an asteroid collision with Earth. And so what these numbers indicate here is that it's a very, very, very small number. I think this is actually the highest that I can see, and it's a probability of 0 0.00022, which is, I guess, 0.02% chance of colliding with Earth um, at some point before 2098. Now, um, all of the asteroids that were in the news are usually listed right here. The ones that were recently detected, maybe in, in the news, are here. And actually, the asteroid that the uh, media is talking about is right here. Now, why is there no actual uh, notes or really nothing about it? Why is there no probability, there's no chance of collision, nothing listed? Is NASA hiding something? Is this a conspiracy? Should we be packing our bags yet again? taking our switches, putting them in our bags and moving to another planet? Well, the reality is that 
If you go to one of the uh, websites that has all of the information about various asteroids discovered recently, for example, this right here, International Astronomical Union, you can discover or you can find out that apparently we only had a chance to uh, look at this asteroid for about two days, between June 14th and June 16th. In those two days, we had six total observations. That's it. We got to look at it six times, and the only thing we learned about it is that, well, it has these parameters here. There's not a single detail here about even a remote chance of collision, or really anything about any collision or any danger to our planet. Now, it is a near-Earth asteroid, so there is a slight chance that maybe we'll find something eventually, but we actually haven't found anything in the last few months, since June, basically. Here's another website from NASA itself, and it even says here that we only had two days of observation to look at this object known as 2018 LF-16. Uh, In other words, uh, this is actually the only article I was able to find that totally discredits everything that was just said by other media sources. I don't actually know what BGR is, I guess it is maybe a news site. Uh, and honestly, at this point, the important part here is that there's literally um, the vast majority of tabloids reporting that there seems to be a collision chance and it's from a day ago two days ago so obviously some people may take it seriously and some people may panic and some people may do something stupid but just like so many other things in tabloids in the last few days especially the one about supernova this is completely and totally not true there's absolutely not a single fact here and just to give you even more proof, here's the last site I was going to show you. This is uh, New Earth Close Approaches. Um, it actually shows you the nearest approaches in the next uh, few uh, weeks and months. And you can see every single asteroid here. You can see their minimum distance to us. So LD here stands for lunar distances and basically how many times the lunar distance it is from Earth. Uh, you can even see the uh, relative velocity and so on. And you can actually go into as far as future here within a year and then see which of these will be the closest to us and when it will happen. So this right here, 2015 EG, I swear to you, is going to be the news too because it is the closest approach and the tabloids are going to pick it up in March. There will be another asteroid collision prophecy. So get ready. I'm going to have to make another video discrediting that as well. But hypothetically speaking, let's say it does hit Earth. So here's the asteroid that were created in Universe Sandbox. It's approximately 200 something meters in diameter. Um, we're still not entirely 100% sure, but it is pretty large. So it would actually, um, if it were to collide with Earth, cause a relative destruction. It would potentially take out a city. Uh, it could definitely create uh, some tsunamis, but the highest chance for it to collide would be basically water. And if it does hit, uh, in this case, Pacific Ocean, somewhere near Hawaii, it would most likely create a very large tsunami, even potentially cause changes in the atmosphere. But depending on the actual angle of collision and also depending on whether it explodes in the atmosphere or actually collides with the planet itself, and there's a lot of factors to consider there, um, it might actually not even have that big of an impact if it hits water. So in some sense, yeah, it's going to be pretty dangerous, but in some other sense, there's still a lot of things to consider here, even if it basically hits our planet. And so once again, you can rest peacefully, you can calm down, there's nothing to worry about, no asteroids coming our way, and I wonder if this whole media thing with them basically coming up with a lot of stories that are completely not true about space uh, facts are going to become um, a kind of a reality now, because that's just irresponsible and honestly makes me a little bit upset because, you know, some people will take it seriously and they'll actually think that it's the end of the world and then they'll do something really silly. Anyway, so on that note, um, yep, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. The asteroid known as LF-16 or the more specifically 2018 LF-16 because we discovered it in 2018 um, is for now at least completely safe because we just don't know anything about it. So, yep. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out. And as always, bye-bye. And in the comments below, let me know uh, what you think about the new setup. I'm definitely going to play around with the green screen a little bit more. And I definitely want to make videos a little bit more interactive.